I don't like the tone of this music. Where are we going with this, guys? Where are we going with this music? <laughs> Not too shabby. All right, survivors, welcome back to The Escapists. Just when we thought we knew everything about Punchwood and the family that he's trying to keep secret from us, like his little brother Elfwood, that we recently helped escape from Santa's sweatshop. Well, we just discovered that Punchwood has yet another little brother by the name of Bondwood. Apparently, little Bondwood moved to the UK and became a spy working for MI6, British intelligence. <laughs> And he's got himself captured by an evil villain. And we have to help him escape. This is Duct Tapes Are Forever, the DLC. Just picked it up last night. And, and the poor little sap needs our help. There he is. We know he's not nearly as good as Punchwood, but we're going to try to do what we can. Let's go. And away we go. Waking up in the evil villain's lair. And we have a message here. First thing in the morning. Pay attention, Agent Bondwood. Oh, this is from, uh, it's from HQ. It's from headquarters, MI6, British Intelligence. Pay attention, Agent Bondwood. You'll need to put together some high-tech equipment to launch yourself out of this one. We've received the attached photo and the keywords sharks and hammers from a former agent. Hopefully, this intel will be of some help. Good luck. We're counting on you. And we do indeed have a photo here, which is sort of vague. It's a gray box with a red question mark. Okay. I think I've got to keep my eyes open for that. And sharks and hammers. Let's remember that. Now, do I get a code number? Guys, do I get a code number? Like 007 James Bond? Um, maybe we can be 00, 00 or something. Oh, look, a stain. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I'm the janitor. <laughs> okay, I almost slipped on that. I'll have to come back and get that. So it looks like Bondwood starts out as a janitor. We have strength of 30, speed of 30, and an intellect of 30. So we're just kind of an average Joe. And we have a tux. A lovely tuxedo. Of course, we're just in disguise here. So I'm sure Bondwood is way... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have a uh, metal detector here. Or contraband detector, rather. So yeah, we're just pretending to have low strength, low intelligence, and low speed. Just to keep... Just to throw off the guards. Henchmen, as we call them here. <gasps> Odell. No way. Coop? Benjamin? Oh, this can't be happening. Oh my gosh, those guys have history with Punchwood. Of course, I guess Bondwood wouldn't know that unless Punchwood told him about it. But anyway, Pierre says, Elbra seems to be drawn to the inside of my desk. Introduce him to your fists. No, no fighting yet. I don't even know these people. Crane, what can I do for you? So Crane is selling some chocolate flashlights, uh, chocolate bars, a flashlight and ink. No, I don't have any money anyway, guys. Lazy boy, lazy boy. He's unemployed. Of course he is. And I can't afford any of that. So we're going to have to get to know everybody here. The inmates are fellow spies. Spies like us, right, guys? we got to stick together. Yeah, cool story, bro. This says Elbra. Um, and the henchmen, too. And I can't believe Benjamin and Odell are here. So if you guys have ever seen any of my old Escapist episodes, you would know that. I believe Benjamin, or maybe it was Odell. One of those two was my absolute first uh arch enemies he was awful one of them i think it was uh i think it was benjamin anyway so right now we're just gonna have a hot meal here get to know everybody make a little small talk try to um get some some trust build up some trust with our fellow inmates or spy mates i guess we can call them and get the lay of the land do our job keep our nose clean for a little while and hold on what can i do for you walton Lazy boy spilled all my dirty little secrets. Oh gosh, another beating. Now, I can't beat anybody up right now. I'm not strong enough. So let's follow the arrow here and go get our mop and do some cleanup. And we'll earn our first few bucks as janitor here at the evil secret lair. Oh, here's a stain right here in the shower. I'm gonna take my clothes off of this one. I wouldn't want to get my tux dirty. <laughs> There's the gym. And look at these henchmen. What the heck are they wearing? They're like minions. Here we go. I wonder who the evil villain is. I can't wait to see him. He's going to be walking around here pretty soon. Every now and then they'll pop up, right? Ooh, this is like computer mainframe or something. That's the employment officer. Uh, I still don't have any money, guys. Here's a stain. Ooh, fight, 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 fight. 
Oh, wow, only three stains, and I, I met my quota. Morn's going down, and Walton's getting in a fight, and here come all the minions jumping in. Let's check the bodies. Little goodie bags. Oh, a stun pen. Oh, that's great. This is... That's spy stuff right there, guys. Awesome. And we'll check Walton, too. And a trowel and a tub of talcum. Now, here's a problem. Here's a problem we haven't had to deal with in a while. These, uh, the contraband detectors. And I don't even remember how to get back. <laughs> yeah, so at Santa's sweatshop, we did not have contraband detectors. So getting around was really simple. But now, you see what I'm saying? So we're going to have to make a contraband pouch. We could run through and take the hit and just get the stuff hidden. But we have 30 bucks, we'll have to pay a copay. You know what? Let's spend the money and make the run for it. If we can find some duct tape, that would be awesome. Considering this is duct tapes are forever, I think it's worth getting some duct tape. Rodney, I don't recognize Rodney. You get lost, jeez. Um, yeah, so duct tapes are forever. Oh, whoa, hold up, hold up. Warning, this is a restricted area. Trespassers will be slapped. I, I caught the sign out of the corner of my eye. I don't think I want to get caught back there. So Duct Tapes Are Forever is a play on the movie title um, Diamonds Are Forever, which is an old James Bond movie from 1970s with Sean Connery. I saw it years and years ago. Sean Connery made a good James Bond, but he's not my favorite. I think my favorite is still Roger Moore, who was around in the 80s. Now, I want to hide this stuff. Uh... What are the utensils, man? There's no utensils here. Ooh. So I can't even hide this stuff in, in utensils area. That's too bad. Okay, we can check in at roll call right now without having to go through any contraband detectors. So li listen to the music. I love it. Okay, here come the shakedowns. Not that we have to worry about anything. We don't have anything yet. Pierre's finally a job that I can do. He wants a sock. I can. That sock is going to be worth 18 bucks, huh? Elbera, what can I do for you, man? Comb shiv. Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. There you go, buddy. Bam! 19 bucks. You betcha. So, we want to do favors for people here. We want to earn their trust. We want to gain opinion. The higher the opinion, the better off we'll be. The lower the prices will be. We can also recruit people to help us. And again, if you haven't seen any of my old videos, it might be worth going back and checking them out. I've got a long playlist of escapists footage. And what are you selling back there, man? Oh, magazine. Need that badly. I need to get my Cheryl Teagues up. Cheryl Teagues. But before we do that, I'm really interested in duct tape, guys. We need a... Uh... Oh, hold on a sec. Can I put that? Oh, I can... This is a weapon. Oh, it's a 3-5 weapon. Nice. All right. Well, that we can hide in that slot. Stuff in your hands, or this pocket slot, whatever the heck that is, does not get detected by the contraband detector. So it's safe inside. The trowel, however, is not. All right. So I'm not really paying attention to what people say here, but I think this DLC will have, like, new stuff. Yeah, like that. Something about the Bahamas. So we'll keep our eyes open for that if possible. Crane, what's up? It seems Pierre's acts of friendship lately were just a cover to get his hands on my roll of TP. Fancy getting it back for me. Yes. Sure, sure, sure. Cooper. Coop. I can't believe Coop's an officer. Coop used to be Punchwood's uh, best buddy. Yeah, so Punchwood told Bondwood all his stories when they get together around the holidays, sitting at the dinner table like on Thanksgiving. He tells everybody about his exploits. And I'm just wasting time here. Let's get this trial back. Boogie? Aren't you an elf, man? Wow, went <laughs> from elf to villain henchman. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. We're just going to have to take the hits. We're going to we're going to get clobbered, but Oh gosh. It's not worth it. Let's go find some duct tape first, maybe. Oh boy. Morn duct tape? No. Same old junk. This place is enormous. Ooh, that's a dead end. I really want to do some exploring. But I want to get this stuff back. There's some kind of rocket ship here in the center. You see that? Fingerprint scanner? Ooh. Interesting. And I can't go behind the greens except for over here. Oh, you know what I could do, though? Mm, I'm afraid if I put this trowel in here, it will be recycled out. So, oh, there's one of those boxes, but I can't get in there. Look. Yeah, that's the one that was in the photograph sent by HQ. Excellent. Boogie. 
Can't believe they let an elf work here. Oh, look. Here's the library. That's nice. We gotta work on our smarts to make cool stuff. Anywho. Alright, it's evening meal. So let's just get down here real quick. And go take care of that. Whew! So fun! I love it! But man, the first day is just... It's crazy. There's so many things to do and so much to think about. But so little time to do it. Not to mention we're getting the lay of the land here. What do you got there, buddy? Nothing. I would like to spend all my money, so when I, if I do get whacked, um, the copay will be much smaller. You know what we're going to need, guys? Foil. For a contraband pouch. So let's grab that right there. We need it anyway. And now we can make a run for it. Oh, I'm sorry! Lazy boy! <laughs> they need to knock you out of the way. Prowler! Look at Prowler! Bar of chocolate for 19 bucks. No problem. Now it's a uh, exercise period. Chen, come on, man. Ooh, ooh, I'll take that. You don't want to know why? Because there might be new... No, there isn't. Okay. <laughs> I know there are a couple of new recipes in this DLC. But, uh, you know what? I want to work out over here. But I don't know... Uh, but apparently they don't get added to your crafting book. Your journal. So they're just extras like we had at Santa's Sweatshop. And we ha we'll have to discover those on our own. All right, now I'm kind of curious what people are saying here because it is, um, there's a custom speech file. And I'm curious to see what's, what they're all talking about. A wad of putty. I'll probably need putty for myself, but, uh, you know, well, no. Nope. Yeah, thumbs down to you too, man. I mean, I just got here and you're already looking for putty. Ugh. All right, it is now shower time. Let's take off the tux and rinse off. Do, 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 do. I don't like the tone of this music. Where are we going with this, guys? Where are we going with this music? <laughs> Not too shabby. Crane, what's up, man? What can I do for you? Talk to me. Talk to me. Don't ignore me. Finally found out who's been snitching on me to the ward and distract the guards at the next exercise period. That's tomorrow. It's worth 26 bucks. All right, I think we can handle that. It's too hot. Lazy boy, what you selling? Oh, I need duct tape, guys. Seriously, it's forever. Well. All right, so shower time is over. We've got a glass shard and a piece of wood. Uh, oh, I should have given away the note, but whatever. I really want that talcum. Okay, it's... Why do evil lairs always look so dry? <laughs> it's a custom... Uh, quit. Now, I'm going to head back. I'm going to make a run for it. I'm probably going to get caught and zapped because my heat's going to go to 99. But maybe I can get this stuff back to my room before I get in trouble. Is this my room? Oh, it is. Nice. Ooh, get off the desk. Okay, let's put stuff away here. I like to have all the contraband together along the top. And we've got wood. We've got a hammer. We've got a trowel, a glass shard, and a foil. Let's put the rest away. And didn't somebody need... Oh, Crane's toilet paper from Pierre's. We'll go check out that that desk. And a sock for Pierre's. Let's check out Crane's desk. Now, we have to be careful here because there's cameras. That's Blonde's desk. Crane's desk. It's Crane's desk, right? Oh, no, no. From Pierre's. Pierre's desk. This is Walton's desk. Prowler, Crane, Blonde's, mine. They must be way on the other side. Oh, shucks. Well, let's just go through a desk anyway before that camera turns around. That's for covering up the cameras so they can't see you. We're going to grab that, of course. And let's get out of here. Watch. Psh! Crane's desk. Let's check it out. Ooh, a file's very nice. Take more shaving cream. Let's roll. And let's go shoot this one. And hairspray? Well, you know what? You gotta look good. Even uh, in the lair when you're captive. Chicken spatula book. Alright, don't need the rest of that stuff. Ooh, fight, 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 fight. Goody bags. A lighter and sock mace and a dodo donut. Take it. Now, sock mace we're gonna have to get rid of. It's a 3-5 weapon. I want to give it away. Oh, I'm the first one here. Do I get a cookie? Settle down. That's all I get. 
Odell and Benjamin. Oh my gosh, I can't believe two of my worst enemies. Pierre's and Chen getting the shakedown. That moron Morn blocked my cell transfer. Drop a beat down. Nope. No beat downs. Yep, same to you, buddy boy. So let's see. Do I have anyone even close to being friendly to me? I want the Prowler to be my friend. Here you go, buddy. Have a sock mace. Yeah, really. And Lazy Boy is selling. Could use some duct tape here, guys. Let's, uh... How about Crane and, uh, and Prowler? Yeah, they, they seem nice. Piers, what can I do for you? Next roll call. Distract the guards from me while I slip away. That's tomorrow morning. No problem. And morn... Oh, I'm full up. Oh, darn. Next exercise period. So that's tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to keep those five. I'm not going to get rid of any of them. And now it's lights out. we got to get back. And there's really nothing else to do tonight. Can't break out. Um, there's really nothing to do other than go to sleep and call it a day. Oh, look. The camera's still disabled. Stuff lasts a pretty good long time. Shaving cream. I like it. Put that away, put the donut away, and I'll hang on to the shaving cream for now. And what can I make? Can I make at least a two-handle right now? Let's try. Nope. Four more intellects. Dang it. All right, so we're not going to worry about that. Now, do I have my trowel? I do. Maybe we should do a little digging tonight. Can't hurt. Can't hurt. Let's put this down right here. Ooh. Why is that so shaded like that? Let's do a little digging. There's no camera in my room, which seems kind of odd. <laughs> and hopefully this hole will be here tomorrow when I reload the game, because I don't know, sometimes it disappears. I'm going to reload the game. I used to anyway, but that might be an old bug that's been fixed. No guards ever seem to come around down here at the dead end. Maybe I've paid them off or something. Oh, I can, I'm down, I'm down. Down! Up! Alright, that was excellent. In fact, let's go down here, drop that, climb up, pick this up, drop it down on top of the hole, and nobody will be the wiser. And that's all she wrote for tonight. Tomorrow, we'll get rid of the evidence. Oh, <laughs> get in bed, quick! A henchman! Cooper, used to be a good guy. A coop. <laughs> Alright, anyway, guys, welcome back to The Escapist. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Duct Tapes Are Forever, and we'll pick up in the next episode. See you then. Bye-bye.